What is going on guys? This is Ben, you bring another Brawl Stars video. Today, we are going to be going over every single update change we can find in the new Brawl Stars update. A spoiler alert, there is a lot of them. There is 96 of them this time around. So this is a big update with a lot of cool things and let's get into it. So first and foremost, we have a new free Brawler M's that you can unlock at 8,000 trophies. She, I think she's going to be a really good brawler. If you haven't seen anything on her just yet, basically she has 5,040 HP. Her attack does 700 damage, but it's like an interesting attack that'll be easier just to show you. And then her super is also crazy. So her star power is bad karma. Enemies that stay within the cloud of M's toxic hairspray. That's her main attack. So for increasing damage, 20% per hit. So that's like the first time we've ever seen like a damage increase uh, over time, which is a new mechanic. So that's a second change. But yeah, for her main attack, it's just easier to show you. So... It's a cloud of hairspray, as you can see, it goes through, and see how it ticks for damage? Um, at max range, basically for her, if you get that cloud right to land on where you want it to go, it'll deal three ticks of damage, and you see how each time that damage increases, that's her star power going into effect. Now, at, at close range, if you get really close to a brawler, it kind of isn't very effective because it only gets that one tick of damage off, so that's kind of unfortunate, but her super... Here's another new mechanic, a super that slows and kind of snares an enemy if they're in there. What are the bots teaming over there? What the heck? Okay, come on. Well, I'm going to get my super just to show you here. So see how it slows that Shelly down while she started moving. So it slows that Shelly down. I just wanted to show you that, but she actually bodied me. So now the fourth change is now instead of 29 brawlers, we have 30 brawlers on the top there. And then now the fifth change is the trophy road is its own designated spot here. And at 8,000 trophies, a few moments later, at 8,000 trophies, you unlock M's here. So really cool that she is free. 8,000 trophies is quite a bit, but still cool that it's something more towards work towards and really pushes players to get more trophies to unlock her. But sadly, it does remove a mega box. So what I would love is Brawl Stars to stop removing mega boxes and maybe putting these mega boxes a little bit instead of like coins or something or these or these powerpoints six changes now the profile has its new little separate icon on the top left separated from the trophy road seventh change is your profile actually has changed as well i think supercell has added this to add more flexibility for if they add new game modes maybe if they ever added 5v5 or clan wars or club wars and also you can see over there we have highest power play points getting added as well so a lot of changes to profile which means more addition to the future probably it's a new event modifier that is only going to be active during this halloween event but it is graveyard shift so honestly i hope there's enough positive feedback that graveyard shift gets added back into the game forever because it is basically life leech from before which is amazing but you can see right there and also another change is the graveyard shift icon that is there the little ghost that looks awesome but basically this is life leech what graveyard shift entails is always losing health just from running around there is no healing up the only way to heal up is by dealing damage to enemy brawlers and then also if you end up defeating an enemy brawler you get fully recharged on hp so this game mode really negates anti-teaming and everything but a cool change with graveyard shift is there like there's that pseudo invis you see how um m has having that invis that's the every every brawler is going to look like that they're going to have that little mini invis around them or just kind of outline to them which looks really cool for the graveyard event i really hope that this stays past the event but we'll have to maybe push the devs like if there's so much like positive support for this maybe it'll be in the devs best interest to keep this in the game and even after the match as long as you're queued on this game mode it seems as though that invis sticks around for your brawler on the main screen which is really really cool so now the 12th through the 15th change or something like that are all new changes to the new environment called mortis mortuary uh, in showdown you can definitely see like this new candle this is actually like a skull from before where you can like kind of destroy it on the map uh, we have these new trees that are spooky the new walls that are different the new canisters basically you can see over there with the cobwebs the water is different where it's got that green kind of drool there we even have tombstones in here the outskirts of it so this environment is awesome after and you saw the new death animation right there that little it's like a bubble that disperses. That is the new death animation. And in gem grab, we can see the bats flying around on the bottom. Uh, we basically have the gem mine changing in the middle. This is really cool. We have Frank actually DJing off to the left there. So, so many cool changes with this. Uh, that brings us up all the way to the 18th change with all those mini changes that I, maybe it was probably more. 19th change is the Mortis Mortuary picture taking over the environment for the maps that it's actually gonna be on. I figured I'd show you some more gameplay of the graveyard shift here. 
while we discuss some more changes. So the 20th change is there's going to be a new background. You guys know they have changed the background a bunch. Uh, that's when you first load up in the brawler screen that you're on, so I'm excited for that. There's going to be new music. I can add that more to my videos and everything, so really excited about the new music that is coming. There is going to be a new loading screen. There's new decorations, which you kind of went over, and the new environment, obviously, which we have went over as well. And then one last thing that I didn't say about Graveyard Shift is in Duo Showdown, if bro both brawlers are alive, um, the healing is shared between them. So the 23rd to the 27th change are all skin related. The skins will only be available during the Brawloween event. So if you like a skin, be sure to get it. Uh, they will maybe be coming back next Brawloween, but still, as you can see, the special event Brawloween skin. But basically, we have Shelly here. She has a really cool animation with Witch Shelly. This skin is awesome. You can see she throws the cat. Witch Shelly is going to cost 150 gems. Obviously, the gem prices are subject to change. And if you're going to be gemming some skins, be sure to use code BT1 in the shop. And if you're not a fan of myself or whatever, um, just use some content creator code. But look at the attack animation. It has the green poison getting shot out there. Uh, the witch looks amazing. The witch hat and everything. I really like this skin a lot. Now let's get to the super. So you guys know I love skins that have different animations. So this is going to be a big point here. The super also has the animation with the cats coming out at the end. So one more for good time's sakes. Yeah, the cats come up. Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm in love with this skin. 150 gems. Definitely worth it with the animation changes that we're getting. The next skin is Werewolf Leon. Just look at that. And I'll get to the change later. I'll, I'll discuss the change later. Is Leon has voice acting. But basically, Werewolf Leon, how you doing? As of right now, Werewolf Leon is going to be 150 gems. Let's take a look at the animations, see if they're worth it. So the shurikens, oh my gosh. They're little dog bone shurikens. That's awesome. Now the super, I think there's a voice animation or a like howl with it. There's not too much you can change about him going invis, obviously, but it's, they, added, they added a sound effect, which is really, really cool. This skin looks amazing. I know everyone loves Leon. So yeah, once again, use code BT1 if you're buying these skins. Then we have Piper Calavera here. Not really any different animation changes that I saw with the skin. Uh, this one is only 80 gems. Looks to be similar. Um, nothing really changes with the main attack, just the, the code. Let's see if the bombs look different. The bombs are the same. Oh my gosh, we have Dark Knight Jesse. I thought this was going to be called Shadow Knight Jesse. It's going to be either one of them. She is going to cost 10,000 star points. That is on the same level as Mecha Crow, Mecha Bow. First up. Oh my gosh, okay. So that's a, oh, that's really, really cool. I think just alone for that main attack animation. That is worth the 10,000 star points. So that's really cool. Now let's take a look at the turret. Throw so the turret. Obviously, it's a little bit the same. Uh, the turret isn't as dark as I would have liked. Let's see for them to spawn. But it also shoots the main, mini main attack. So I really like this skin. Um, 10,000 is a lot for star points, but it seems to be well worth it. And then we do have DJ Frank as well. This one is also 80 gems. I do like his little hammer. It looks awesome. Got a little, little speaker there. The main attack looks the same. Um, and then now let's check the super. Super looks the same as well. Just beaten down, but still, that's a really cool... F I like the skin a lot. So now the 29th through the 33rd change are all related to the new game mode called Power Play. So you can see how there's the new icon at the bottom for Power Play. That basically means you unlock this mode once you get your first max brawler. That just means once you get a brawler with the star power. It's their newest competitive way to play brawl with just three power play matches a day. You'll need to win your games and climb the rankings to achieve glory and star points. Power play will be a 14 day season starting on Monday the 28th. Unlocked when a player earns their first star power and only brawlers with a star power can participate. So only the brawlers you have star powers you can play in that game mode. Play matchmaking is based on your score. Matches won and not trophies. So basically there's gonna be a separate, a separate trophy system for how many power play trophies that you have. Uh, if you win a 3v3 match, you get 30 points. If you do, if you tie a 3v3 match, you get 10 points. A 3v3 loss, you get five points. In Showdown and Duo Showdown, the scores are dependent on your placement. And then a new thing here is there is an overwhelming victory. 
When you win a 3v3 power play match by achieving specific goals, you get extra points. What those goals include is, in gem grab, win the match before the 15th gem spawns, heist or siege, win the match with at least 80% safe health remaining, in brawl ball, shut out the enemy and win 2-0, in bounty, win by 10 plus stars. So you get a little bit more, it seems though, points when you get those, achieve those overwhelming victories. The rewards are given at the end of each season based on your score, so that's new rewards for us at the end of season as well. 200 players will receive an extra reward based on their ranking in the case of a tie a player's total trophies are used if you are number one in your power play leaderboard you get 5,000 star points the second person gets 40,000 the third place gets 30,000 the fourth place gets 20,000 and then it gets smaller and smaller and smaller for if you're in the top 200 so basically 151st to 200 gets 25 I'll throw up that spot there and then after that after the top 200 it's going to be dependent on your rankings depending on how many star points you are going to be receiving sadly I cannot show you the leaderboards um in the dev build here but basically there's going to be one for trophies and one for the power play um points I cannot show you this as well in the build but takedown is having a event for itself as well the boss now has a different special ability for the duration of the event and it is in addition to the melee and charge abilities the boss will have either lasers so kind of like lasers which it's always had that do probably destroy um walls and stuff chain lightning that's crazy because it's going to destroy the brawlers around you or rockets so the boss in takedown is getting a little bit of an upgrade. It's going to be probably a toss of which event or which ability you're going to get for that boss in takedown, but that's really cool. So now the 40th through the 60 second change are all balance changes. I kind of went over these yesterday. I'll give my thoughts a little bit more on these today, but 8-bit, they decrease his main attack damage from 340 to 320 per laser. Uh, that means now it's going to be dealing 448 damage at max level. With 8-bit, I felt like it was necessary. It was a little bit packed, a little bit too much of a punch. So for BB, they decreased her health from 4300 to 4200 at level 1. So at max level, it's going to be 5880. Um, and then her decrease her spitball damage from 1,000 to 900. So at max level, her spitball is going to deal 1,260. BB was a tad too strong, and she was strong for a while. But this seems a little bit... Oh, this seems like a lot. But I, I'm glad that her super is getting redu reduced because it was so strong. Oh, just one change. His mines, when you throw them, they're no longer random. They're always going to be in this triangle pattern here, which is awesome. I'm really glad they're removing randomness from the game with, like, the Piper super is now not random. Same with Tick and all, like, his... his his mind throw so really happy about that for brock just one change they increase incendiary damage from 500 to 600 seems like every time we get a balance change they keep buffing this crow they increase extra toxic enemy damage reduction from 16 percent to 20 percent they keep buffing extra toxic and now i'm definitely most likely going to be using this in team game modes it used to be 10 percent now it is double to 20 percent which is crazy how much damage reduction it's going to offer for you for you and your team Daryl got a couple of buffs here. So increased steel hoops, shield damage reduction from 25% to 30%. So that's really cool. Uh, I don't know why they got rid of that in the first place, but then they reworked rolling reload here. So rolling reload rework, Daryl doubles his reload speed for five seconds after using super. In a way, I think that's worse because before rolling reload was you would use your super to get all of your main attacks back. Now you super and you just doubled your reload speed. But I feel like that's not how you want to play Daryl. You kind of just like, maybe like a heal would work better than giving him attack because usually when you roll in, it's because you already have attacks. You know, they increased El Fuego damage from 1,000 to 1,200. And then they decreased, they nerfed Meteor Rush. It's now down to 25%. It was 28%. So Primo, Still gonna be a good brawler. Meteor Rush still gonna be probably the preferred option. For Gene, they're buffing magic puffs again. I think they just need to totally rework this star power. Uh, maybe like a damage for his super. Um, that would be a lot better than this. Gene heals all friendly brawlers around him for 400 health. They keep buffing this, but it's still not good enough. Um, it's a slow heal. And it's just weird. Leon was receiving a buff to his invisible heal healing. So it is now up to 1000. It was 800 per second. But they actually decreased his super duration. It was seven seconds, it is now six seconds. So overall, that is a nerf to Leon once again. I don't know if he needed the super nerf, but we'll see. But basically, Nita, they increased her health from 3,800 to 4,000 at level one. So now she's gonna have 5,600 at max level. 
and they increase her main attack damage from 740 to 800, which means at max level, her damage is going to be 1,120 per attack. So Nita getting a really big buff here. She was okay before, but now she's going to be really, really strong. Favorite Brawler getting some love here. They're increasing her main attack damage from 840 to 900. That is a big main attack buff because at max level, she is now going to deal 1,260 per upfront hit. For Piper, they're nerfing her. They definitely needed to. They decreased her main attack damage at max range from 1,640 to 1,600 or 1,600. So now at max damage range, it's going to deal 2,240. So they increased the capital healing star power from 600 to 800. So Screeching Solo making, I don't know, 800 is a lot of health. And he... That could be really good. And he got a triple nerf. They decreased his health from 4,000 to 3,800. So now at max level, he's gonna have 5,320. They decreased Sandstorm duration from 12 seconds to nine seconds, which is a super. And they decreased his healing wind star power from 300 to 250 per second. So less healing, less health, less long of a super. I know he really needed the nerf, so I still think he's gonna be a really good brawler though. So for Spike, they increased fertilizer healing from 600 to 800 per second. I still think people are gonna be using Curveball because it just makes them a lot easier to play. Not like the tick buff here, they increased main attack mini mines duration on the ground from 1.6 seconds to two seconds. That means they're gonna stay on the ground for a lot longer. I don't think that's good for gameplay. Um, it's too oppressive, I think, but they also did decrease the tick reload time effect from 13% to 10%. So yeah, the star power got nerfed, but the mini mines, man, they're two, they're two seconds on the ground is way too long. See, third change is Frank received some visual improvements. You can see his jacket looks a little better. He looks a little bit more polished. Hammer looks a little more detailed, but that's the extent of his rework for now. So Bay Shelly has some new animation. You can see how she kind of dips the knees a little bit. Um, so it's a little bit more fluid. I think it looks nice. Here is the yeah. Leon voiceover. Yeah. He sounds like Carl to me. Yeah. Um, I mean, this? it fits him, but uh, like all I hear is Carl in this voice. Couple of changes, the Lone Star and Takedown. It shows your place now. You see how it says I uh, rank first out of 10 there. See if changes now, you can add a friend by entering their player ID. And then they also did add a profanity filtering for chats. Uh, that's gonna be big for a lot of the younger audience. Um, you guys know like bullying is a huge thing. So I'm really happy that they're at least trying to censor some of the stuff because no one should be bully playing games at all or even just in general. The last update they had it so only the game room leader could invite players to your team. Um, so now anyone can in the thing. So they just reverted that change back, which I'm really happy about. I'm happy about this too. The friendly game room mode selection now remembers the previously selected game mode. So the 72nd to the 74th are just bug changes. Um, they fixed a bug in friendly game rooms where after relaunching the game, a player could hear the opposing team brawlers voices, uh, voice lines that kind of gave the edge to basically in competitive matches. If you wanted to know what the enemy, what your enemy comp was running, they fixed a blog where the player did not get their bounty increased in bounty and in Lone Star if the turret exploded while the projectile was mid-air, such as Penny's Mortar. So finally, you're going to be getting points for that. Um, it was kind of like a you wouldn't get your bounty increase, which is kind of annoying. Uh, they fixed a bug that wasn't annoying to that Penny, but it was annoying to the other players. Uh, they fixed a bug that caused turrets to shoot strangely when the turret's target had the Brawl Ball and was hidden in grass. So this one is really cool. This is kind of hinting towards the Brawl Stars World Finals, um, which you may or may not know is coming next month in January. But on Rock Brawl Brawl here, at least in the Brawl Stars developer build, I don't know if this will make it in the main one. It says Brawl Stars World Final under this. The 76th change is they seem to have removed all yellow grass or yellow brush, yellow bush, whatever you want to call it. It is now all green. The grass is now all green. Um, so no more yellow. The 77th through the 96th are all map changes. Keep in mind, these are these names are all subject to change in this developer build. Some of them might be changing. I was told that they're still working out some names, trying to figure them out, but a lot of map changes coming out. Uh, you can see first off, Mexican standoff got changed to Scottish standoff a little bit here, but it's the same map. But first off, we have the new map for takedown, which is Peak Oil. Uh, this, this may maybe just be for the event for the new uh, bots as well. We don't know. Then we have Cuckoo Coop. Um, and then we also do have Scrap Metal. Then we have Funky Punk. Square Off. A lot of walls there. Maybe throwers would be pretty good. And then we do have Alligator Alley. 
A lot of water there. Jump pads, I like the jump pads. And then we do have tight stuff. For Lone Star, I couldn't find a single map that was the same. I'll keep in mind, these, these names might change, but we have Shore Shot. Not so safe. I love the jump pads. Stolen Valor. Cauliflower, because it kind of looks like cauliflower. Close Call. Solo. And Crossroads. So the map changes for Showdown is a lot of the old maps are getting put back into the game. I don't know if they're here to stay, or this is just the developer build, but we have Hot Maze here, which it seems to be uh, the Mortis Mortuary theme. Uh, we do have Thousand Lakes coming back. We do have Hot Point coming back for Showdown. Forsaken Fail Falls, this one is a new one. Um, very big map, but I, I like the jump pads on it. It looks really sweet. I like the middle as well with the water and everything. Uh, we have Passage coming back. And then we do have Eye of the Storm. I think that maybe it was one map that I missed, so that might have been only 95. But for your not hit bonus one here, in the news tab, we have these video section as well. I know I pointed this out the last Brawl Stars change. This could be something they're testing and maybe they just haven't implemented it, but it seems though there's a video section now for news um, that may come in this update because it didn't come last time, but we will see. For all, my favorite change has to be probably the Shelly skin. I really like the Witch Shelly skin, even though she's my least favorite brawler. This skin is awesome. The animations on it are crazy and the Mortis Mortuary, and I love the whole event with it. I'm excited to see the loading screen and all that stuff coming soon. But if you have any questions about things about the update, let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe. Stay tuned for any more update videos you hear them see first. When um, Ems comes out, I'm going to be maxing her and doing a ton of different videos on her as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you're using gems or anything in the shop, use code BT1. I really appreciate it. But thanks for watching. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.